All right. All right. So today we're talking about two communities that we chose outside of Central Florida that are absolute snags. All right, before we start this video, I feel kind of cheesy saying this. I kind of hate that people do this constantly on YouTube, but we want to see if we can get into the five digit club subscribers by the end of the year. We're at 9,000 something. Ooh, that's pretty quick. It's coming up, so well, we've never hook asked it up. anybody to do that. Before. I won't ask you again until we're getting close to you know 20,000. I'm not that guy. <laughs> Make sure you smash the subscribe button and the like button and comment and I find it annoying. I do. It's too. every every YouTuber does I do it. Too. All right, scratch that. We're not putting that. Justin, don't put that in. So we decided what would be fun because we've been around to a lot of these different communities and we're constantly giving you guys information on Central Florida is okay, you pick and I'll pick. What's your favorite community that you've seen so far outside of Central Florida? And mine, Pelican Preserve in Fort Myers, because I've got friends and family, and I love going to Sanibel. That's, that's my jam. Mine? Mm -hmm. Del Webb Nocatee. We're going to battle it out here, see who's got the better community. First things first, though, <laughs> let's put uh, pricing up on the screen, you think? Sounds good. Just to compare the two. Let's start with location. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why is your location better than my location? So one of my joys is salt water, and I love shelling on Sanibel Island. I also love going on boats up to Captiva and, and Upper Captiva and Cape Costa and dropping in with my snorkel. My best girlfriend lives there. I've got my, you know, we've got family members there. There's plenty plenty of shopping i mean ridiculously amount of shopping and i don't even shop there's restaurants galore it's a really easy drive down to naples and and the downtown naples area mm. is pretty darn cool mm. Mm. it's an easy shot over alligator alley and drop into the keys and of course i scuba and snorkel and that's a that's a plus two mm. i will say this about pelican preserve i shot the community we'll throw some footage up obviously but that was the funnest community I've shot to date. I've shot a lot of 55 plus communities. That was like, and it was out of season. It, what was it about it just that made the, it fun? The amount of people out and about and the way it was structured, like everyone was just having a blast. It was crazy. It, it seemed like the funnest community I've shot. And it's got condos and homes. The and condos are, it does have condos and they are Beautiful location. Got to say, I'm a condo girl too. I prefer not like having low anything. Low maintenance, yes. just nothing half. to do outside at all. Yeah, I'm, it's for my convenient. Own. It's nice, and it overlooks the driving range, which is beautiful. It's like this: your driving range is into water, and your condos. Well, there's a couple of different sections of condos, but beautiful. Yeah, it's got beautiful venues for the. Still not as cool as Del Webb Nocatee. Okay. Wow. Well, all right. So your location. Then your location. Nocatee. Yes. Nocatee is a master plan area community with multiple, it's really cool, with multiple communities. So you do have multi-generational communities and it has golf carts that go all the way through. So you can take your golf cart from your community, your gated neighborhood to the Publix to, and it's got tons of new development around there. So there's all sorts of restaurants, all sorts of stuff. They have like crazy water parks in the middle of the community. So when you have grandkids come, you can go use those outside of your community or you can use your community. But I think the reason, well, okay, so, and then, I'm like getting carried away here. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, you have access to the beach, right? You're right in between St. Augustine, which has gotta be one of the funnest places to go eat and drink and hang out. Um, Jacksonville, I don't even know that much about Jacksonville, if I'm being honest. It's pretty metropolitan. Just but you got a big metropolitan, yeah. So you have, I'm sure, tons of stuff to do up there. So you're smack dab in the middle of that. And then you have easy access to beaches. The weather's cooler. And you can easily pop up into like Georgia, South Carolina, and North true. Carolina. That's it's true. a cool spot. Now, is it not, and this is one thing that tweaked my interest, because I would have said Nocatee as well. Mm. Uh, 
isn't it very nature? They've, there's a yes. lot of conservation. They're, they're protecting yes. that area. Yes. That's that's what Nakati is. It's they beautiful. Are protecting it. Yeah. And then it feels very nice. Like you hop on that road to go to Publix, and it's like there's like a lot of space in between that and the next community, and it feels supernatural. And there's supernatural. Supernatural. <laughs> And you got pine trees, lots of pine trees all over the place. It's so a beautiful, it's a beautiful that area. That is, I think, the reason that if I had, you know, if I had that space, that's why. Because Pelican Preserve is in the middle of... Neighborhood city. Neighborhood city, and Fort Myers has grown immensely. Mm -hmm. And, and, after every head, if you like nature, that... Did I convince her from my neighborhood? Yeah, maybe. Um, I think it's two things. It, it didn't feel super busy. It felt kind of laid back. I think it's uh, not that far into development, if I had to guess. It seemed like there was a lot of new build left. And then um, also, again, it was like cold. So no one was out by the pool, but there's a ton of people playing like pickleball and bocce ball. Oh, yeah. So, it's but Pelican Preserve. It's athletic driven too, because lots of cycling, trails tons and, of cycling yeah. up there. There's a bunch of people on bikes. Yeah. Um, but Pelican Preserve. On the other hand, again, seem like the funnest community I've seen. Do you remember when we did the Alligator Alley? We actually ran into some folks that were eating there from that recognized Pelican it, Preserve. and they yeah. were from Pelican Preserve, and he loved it there. Yeah, it's a Had cool Prairie Head, but th this is J. Michaels and my pick. People are going to hate us. That. We already did that. <laughs> People are going to hate us. Why? Because we're, we're going to send them all the way from Jacksonville to Fort Myers. <laughs> Well, budget it's, would make It's you, a high-end community. Budget would make you decide it feels, which one. It, it feels very high-end. Like, we'll be doing the Valencia communities. Um, GL's the builder in there soon. And in South Florida, and, you know, those start at, like, 700 to 900. Mm. And those communities feel very high-end, but I think Del Webb Nocatee felt as high-end, if not maybe a little bit more high-end. Like, the pool was insane. So, in terms of amenities, mm -hmm. Del Webb... Did not have an indoor pool, I don't think. Kind of surprised me. Don't they usually have indoor pools? Oh, uh, yes they do. You should probably check. Did you actually see the fitness center? Because that's where the yeah. usual, their usual- Fitness center was pools. really nice. No indoor pool? I didn't see indoor pool. Maybe it was through that door that I didn't go through. You want me to ask Ian before we mess up the video? Just curious, was there an indoor pool somewhere in Del Webb, Nakati? So amenities for Pelican Preserve. You've got a beautiful golf course. You've got a whole separate clubhouse for the golf course that you can become a member of without necessarily being part of the community. And then the actual community for residents is sort of laid out like a little town instead of a big clubhouse. It's like the buildings are separate. You have walkways in between the buildings with seating, outdoor seating. There was a full bar and restaurant. And then there's a beautiful outdoor pool with a bar and restaurant attached to the pool. That was pretty sweet. You got like an amphitheater outside, tennis courts. Pickleball. Pickleball. They had a, a softball field too. Mm -hmm. So if you're into softball, that's gonna be a, a factor. They were moving it when I was shooting, so it looks super rough, but they were relocating it so they could add more pickleball courts along it's with a, the softball. It's a growing, growing game. They do have an indoor pool, um, beautiful gym. The way it was laid out was extremely nice. And then they had nice walking trails, trails throughout the communities. The way it was laid out, if a lot of the homes are backing up to nature and stuff like that, they did a nice job with that. Beautiful. And wasn't the road that you come down, wasn't there a grocery at the end? And mm -hmm. Could you get there on your golf cart? Yes, but it's underwhelming. It's okay. That's you have you access to it. back from Nocatee. Yeah, and, and you have... overwhelming. You, it's, yeah. <laughs> the Love Nocatee has golf cart paths everywhere. And that's one of the cool things, even the multi-generational communities inside Nocatee, that's one of their things, is like everyone's driving around golf cart. So you'll go to Publix and... And the family's on the golf yeah, cart. Yeah, you got three kids on the back, mom and, and dad, pulling up to Publix on a golf cart. That's cool. How fun for that. Oh, it was, it's super fun. You would fun. have had a blast with that when you were younger. Oh my God, I couldn't imagine growing up there. It'd be super cool. <laughs> well, and then I think for some people that, that don't necessarily want to be completely surrounded by 55 plus, they enjoy having their community, right? And then outside of that, you have, you're, you're surrounded mm -hmm. by everyone. And same with Pelican Preserve, because there's- That's true, Fort Myers. Just, yeah. So Del Webb Nocatee, one big clubhouse, 
beautiful clubhouse. Like the entrance is a statement. You know, you walk in and Del it's... Del Webb's good at that. They do a good job. Their entrance it's beautiful. is always And then a it overlooks the pool. This giant, this giant entrance overlooks the pool. <laughs> and the pool is like just absolutely gorgeous. It looks like some sort of five-star resort that you'd go to in Mexico or something. And then you've got tons of covered shade, <laughs> stuff like that. You have probably the biggest hot tub I've ever seen in my entire life. Like you could probably fit... At party. 50 people in there. <laughs> it was the biggest hot tub I've ever seen in my life. Nice. Under shade, it was cool. And then a uh, completely separate lap pool. And then you had, uh, again, outdoor bar, restaurant, indoor seating, and the bar wrapped around. It's, it's beautiful. They did a really good job with the design. Bar wrapped around, goes inside. Then you've got pool table right next to the restaurant. Only one pool table seem more casual like if you're a, a heavy pool player I'm assuming that the way that was set up it's meant more for like someone walking to the bar and then lounging over here in this area that's semi connected to it right um, huge uh, amphitheater what are they called the rec center it has a stage inside tons of seating yeah that's just their main we well, always call it something what is it called are you poor Nikki <laughs> Just the activity center and the grand ballroom. The ballroom. Or, yeah. ballroom. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> All right. Thank you all. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, if we left any communities out and we're total idiots, let us know in the comments. Yeah, your favorite. Yeah. What and are your... especially if you've been looking around. Yes. Throw what them are... out there so we know. What are your favorites? And uh, yeah, blast them out. And then hey, if you guys see the, those in the comments, you know, like them push them to the top and we'll go get them done. We'll go shoot these, these communities for you guys. So, you know the drill. If you wanna get connected with someone on our team, visit the website, explore55plus.com. We've got agents in, in Nocatee. We've got agents that uh, deal with Fort Myers and Naples. So, feel free to reach out or you can just give us a call, email. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, this All right, let's get... Fun. Sorry. No, you go. <laughs> All right, let's get rolling. So we're gonna do a fun video today. I was we each pick my hair up. How's that look? <laughs> For your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good.